Whose child is it? Once, there was a king. One day, two women came to the king. One of the women was holding a baby boy. O oh, king, said the woman without the child. We come to you because we have a problem. That woman has taken my child, and I want him back. O oh, king! It is not true, said the woman with the child. This is my child, my baby boy. Explain, said the king. Why do you think the baby is yours, he said to the woman without the child. Well, she said. I live with this woman. We both gave birth on the same night. And nobody else was in the house. Did you have no midwives, the king said. We had no money for midwives, the woman said. And our husbands died. That is why we live together. So we gave birth, but her child died, and my child lived. But I went to sleep, and when I woke up, she had taken my child and was breastfeeding it. When I told her to give my baby back, she said that it was her child, and that I was lying. She is lying, said the other woman. My son lived, but she killed hers. She turned in her bed and smothered him. And look! My son is breastfeeding now. If he wasn't my son, would he breastfeed? And it was true, the baby boy was breastfeeding. Hmm, said the king. He looked at both women and at the baby. But he did not know whose child it was. Both of them could be lying. He could not believe that one of them had smothered her child, but he could also not believe that the other person had stolen a baby. I have an idea, said the king's advisor. The advisor was a strange man, but he was very clever and always had good ideas. Yes? Because we do not know which woman is lying, and we do not know whose child it is, we should split the child in two. We will give one half to each woman. They both gave birth, so they should both have a child. The woman with the baby said, what a great idea. Giving birth is so hard. So she should have half of the child as well. You are a very clever man, Mr. Advisor. But the woman without the baby said, no, you can't do that. Split my child in two? Oh, the idea is horrible. If you want to do that, then I will go. I would prefer that my baby lives. And she becomes his mother. What do you think, O oh king, said the advisor. I can use magic to split the baby. It will not be hurt. Well, it probably won't be hurt. I think you must decide, said the king. Very well, said the advisor. It is clear who is the mother. A real mother would not want her baby to be hurt. Because you think it is okay for the child to be split in two, you cannot be the real mother. The woman holding the baby said, but I am a great mother. Look, he is breastfeeding. Children will breastfeed from cows if they need to, said the advisor. Give him back to his mother. Do as he says, said the king. So the woman gave the baby back to his real mother, and the baby was happy. Thank you, O oh king, said the baby's real mother. The other woman looked angry, but she did not say anything. I think we might split you in two said the advisor, because you lied. You said that she smothered her baby, when actually, you stole her baby. The other woman went white. I, I am sorry, O oh king. I was just so sad. She will live, said the king. One death is enough for today.
The two women said thank you and left, and the king and his advisor talked. It is good that you decided, said the king. I thought like a king, but not like a mother. It is clear that the woman could not have smothered her child, because she was so sad when you said you would split it. Do you think it matters which mother the child has? The king thought. I think it matters that the mother loves her child. But it is easier to love a child who you have given birth to yourself, I think. And the woman who stole the baby would have to lie to him all his life. Nobody can live happily with such a big lie. By the way, I think we should make sure that all women in the country have a midwife. A very good idea, O oh king, said the advisor. If all women have midwives, then we will have to split fewer babies in two. Were you really going to split the child in two, said the king. Oh no, said the advisor. I do not know magic like that. Words are the best magic, usually. The king thought about it, and he agreed. 